Hi everyone, I'm Sang Kim. In the previous video, I showed you how to do conjoint analysis in R. And also we have learned how to calculate attribute importance from each person's password's utility. In this video, I would like to share how to do cluster analysis for 100 respondents based on similarity of their attribute importance from the T data. Let's activate uh, conjoint library and T data. Okay, there are five data frames. TPROF has 13 uh, profile and four attributes. TLEVN has level uh, description information. And T-preference measurement has 100 respondents and 13 profile. And it has uh, score data for each profile. So by using CA part utilities, we can calculate part worth utility for each respondent. Right. So uh, transpose data. So as you can see, this is the first custom uh, respondent's uh, part worth utility and second respondent and third respondent. So by using this uh, part worth utility, we can calculate the range for each attribute then we can calculate importance. So it also, uh, our uh, conjoint library provides CA importance function. So if we run this sentence, then we can get uh, attribute importance uh, for first respondent. So first respondent treats uh, first attribute as the most important uh, attribute. So if you change respondent's number, so this is uh, last respondent's attrib uh, import attribute importance data. So if you do not specify respondent's number here, then you can get the average of total respondent's importance data. Right? So by using this uh, importance data, let's uh, do cluster analysis. So let's generate empty matrix. because there are 100 respondents and four attributes. Okay. Right, so 100 by four matrix with empty cells as zero. And then let's uh, use four statements to fit in uh, this matrix. So again, it has been changed. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the last respondent's data is same as CA importance with last respondent's data. Right. So we were able to generate uh, importance, uh, attribute importance matrix. So let's use this uh, matrix for cluster analysis. So uh, for cluster analysis, the first thing is to decide the number of clusters. So in our program, uh, we can use uh, MB cluster library. And then uh, MB CLUST data attributes. Okay, distance as Euclidean. K-means index or right. So it provides a bunch of information. So from this uh, D index, we can uh, when there is a significant drop, uh, it is an ideal point to decide number of clusters, maybe a three, right? Uh, on the uh, left side. Uh, I would like to focus on uh, this area, 
so uh, it provides uh, MBCLUST has uh, lots of algorithm and uh, the, uh, this is how to interpret the result. One algorithm proposed two as the best number of clusters and eight algorithm proposed three as the best number of clusters. So compared to other uh, results, we can say that three uh, is the best number of clusters, right? Then uh, let's uh, visualize this result. So we can use facto uh, extra. Okay. And then uh, there is eclust function. Okay. Then okay, say so yeah, attributes. Importance, cost, and then e cost. Data name. And cluster function. As k means. GC tree. Euclidean. A equal three. All right, then All right. So uh, we specified uh, K as three, so it uh, shows how to group uh, one hundred respondents data based on uh, three clusters. Also we can see Cluster info vector, this one. Right. So as you can see, uh, if we uh, cluster data as three, then the first group, the first class, cluster treats second attribute as the most important attribute, and second cluster uh, actually treats all attributes uh, evenly, and the last uh, cluster uh, considers third attribute as the most important. Uh, attributes. And then this clustering vector uh, says that uh, number one, the first uh, respondents uh, as grouped, uh, clustered as second, right? And the last one, uh, the last respondents was allocated uh, to the third cluster. So it means that this uh, respondents uh, treats third attributes as the most important uh, attribute. Right. So today uh, I showed you how to use uh, attribute importance for cluster analysis, and then uh, we can also use MBCLUST and Factor Extra library for visualization and uh, more detailed analysis for cluster analysis. I hope it was useful for you to understand how to use conjoint analysis outputs. Uh, for cluster analysis. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.